If we go to alibaba.com, click on new arrivals. Click next arrow to reach electronics category. Look for items listed in the last 60 days. We want to collect only this data. How? For web scraping, we can use different tools like Cheerio, Crawly, Puppeteer, etc. Today I am going to use Playwright which is a stable end-to-end -end testing tool. First we will do the setup. There are different commands available for running the test. We can also use a code generator which will automatically find the selectors or create the test cases for us. So we'll just try it out. So this is the generated code. Now we can look at the existing one which automatically set up and created the application where we have some example codes are all there. So we can just change it using the whatever we generated. Maybe we may not be able to use everything but at least the initial part we can utilize. We'll try to find the selector for the new arrivals. If we inspect the new arrivals link, we can see that it is inside the item title div and it has an anchor tag with the custom attribute. So this looks very specific to the new arrivals. So we can utilize this selector. Similar way, I have selected the cookie consent item button and uh, so the only that one we will add and try catch because it may or may not be available sometimes it shows up sometimes it doesn't so i'm adding in a try catch with a timeout lesser timeout of 5000 millisecond now we can try to run this so the only thing that we are doing is we are just opening the page clicking on new arrivals then verifying that we reached the new page so we can check whether that much is currently working or not by default, the test is running in a headless mode. Test is passing and we can see the report also by running the playwright show report. It will show each step what is completed, what is not completed. In this case, the, the selector for reject it was not able to find, but since we had a try catch, it continued. Similar way, we will try to find the selectors for the other. One is we need the right arrow and that also we need only on the top level. There are two right arrows are there, level one, level two. So we'll take the one which is inside the level one. Next is we want only the items which is having the text listed in 60 days. So whenever this is available, we will have the this product sales class will be there. But what we want to select is a grid dinner. So we can utilize the new CSS selector which is a has. So we can say grid dinner which has this particular class. We need to click this right arrow four times to reach the electronic section. We can even make it very dynamic by using code but for now I think this is good enough. Now once we reach that now we will also need to click on the particular div with the title. Now this item is more than one. So there is a list of items we are going to get. So in this locator, whatever we are selecting will give us a list of item. We can get the count using the dot count method, which is a promise. So we are awaiting for that. Then we can loop through the each item. 
and for getting a particular item we can use the nth method again that is uh, returning another locator now from that locator we can find the child locators so one locator dot locator we can find the inside items so for example first one is the link we need we need the url particular url so we can collect that similar way we will do selector for the all the child elements the data we need Now that we have the data, we will just save that into an array so we can store finally to JSON or wherever we want to store it later. We need to do an infinite scroll here. Only when we scroll, we will get the new items. So what we need to do is we need to find whether we reached the end till we till then we need to keep scrolling. So for that, we can use this calculation and we'll use page evaluate to get the data. So till that becomes true, we will keep scrolling using the mouse dot field. Finally, we will store the data in a JSON file. For that, we will use the FS module. Now let's run the application using the debug mode so that we can see what is happening. Page clicked on the new arrivals but now we got again the cookie consent pop up. So we will just do the same thing again in the new page. Now let's run it again. It's opening the Alibaba.com. Then rejecting the button cookie consent and then clicking on new arrivals. It went to the new page again rejecting then clicking next next and reaching electronics and then scrolling down and finally saving the results and we are able to get the results also. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.